In this problem, we have Rachel, and she's investing her money into two separate accounts. So we have Fund A, she's going to earn 8% profit, whereas Fund B, she's going to earn, uh, or Fund B, she's going to return, a, or she's going to get a 7% po profit. So our question here says, how much did she invest in Fund B? Well, we don't know. So I'm going to let B represent the amount invested. in fund B. Okay, then we're told that the total profit from the two funds all together, okay, so we have fund, so this is not mathematically correct, this is just to help me. I have fund A plus fund B. It says the total amount earned from the profit is $2,730. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to use is it says that fund A was four times as much. So since B represents the amount in, in, in fund B, okay, so this is how much goes into this account. Well, this account here is four times this amount here, so 4B. Okay, so 4B represents the amount of money that we're going to put into fund A. So here's fund A, and we're going to put into fund A this amount here. And then into fund B, we're going to put this amount here. Okay, so then it tells us here that fund A earns 8%. So if this is the amount right here that we're putting into fund A, it's going to earn 8%. So 8% of this amount she's going to earn. So we know that of in math means multiply. So we're going to take 4b and multiply by 0. 0.8. Okay, so we know that we can't have 8%, so we got to change 8% to a decimal by moving the decimal over to the left two times. So we're going to earn, so Rachel's going to earn 8% of this amount here and then in fund B she's going to earn 7% of that amount there so we got to move the decimal over to so we'd have 0 0.07 so our equation is going to look like this this is the amount and this is the percent she's going to earn this is the amount and this is the percent she'll earn and all together this is how much she's going to earn after um, those percentages are earned from each of the accounts. So now we're going to go ahead and simplify. So first thing we're going to do is 0 0.08 times 4. So that's 0.32b and then 0.07b here. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and combine the like terms because they both have b's. So that would make 0.39b and then the very last step when our variable here is isolated, the last step is we divide. And we get B is $7,000. Okay, so th what that means is that she's going to invest, she's going to put in $7,000 into this account, Fund B. So she put $7,000 into this fund. It tells us that it's four times. She's going to put four times the amount here. So if B is 7,000, 7,000 times four, that means she's going to put this amount, 28,000, four times the amount into fund A. So she will invest $7,000 in fund B. That's what the question asked us. If it asked us about Fund A, we would say 28000